Hi, Mark Chandler from Southern Patio Enclosures. In this video, we're going to walk you through how easy it is to install your new rope and pulley patio enclosure system. Please watch the entire video before starting your installation. You can also reference your installation instructions that were emailed to you as well. First, let's talk about how to orient your job. Your curtains will be numbered from the outside of the patio looking in from left to right. For this job, there are five curtains for the four openings, labeled as shown. All of the curtains and tracks in your shipment will be labeled with the corresponding curtain number as seen here. Begin by pre-drilling the holes in your top and side tracks. Mark your drill locations three inches from the end of your track and then 15 inches from each end of the track. And again, 15 inches towards the middle of the track, adjusting to meet in the middle as able. Drill your holes using a small bit at the pre-marked spots. Always wear safety goggles when drilling through the track. Install your top track at its respective opening. Use the appropriate concrete or wood screws that were provided. You may also need to pre-drill holes into your patio structure prior to installing the track. If you're installing a rope and pulley system, you will need to install two double pulleys and one single pulley for each curtain. To determine the location of your pulleys, first establish where your rope cleat will be mounted. On this curtain, the rope cleat will be mounted on the left side wall. Your first double pulley will be installed on the left side, three inches from the edge of the track. Where you mount your pulleys will determine which direction your curtain will roll up. If you want to roll your curtains towards you, mount the pulleys above the track. If you want to roll the curtains away from you, mount the pulleys underneath the track. The advantage of rolling the curtains away from you would be to protect them from the sun, the wind, or the rain when they're rolled up if they are exposed. Install your first double pulley three inches from the end of the track closest to the rope cleat location using the appropriate screws provided. You may need to pre-drill holes into your patio structure. Install your second double pulley 15 inches from the end of the track closest to your rope cleat. Mount your single pulley at the opposite side of the track, 15 inches in from the edge of the track. Run the first end of your rope from the location where the rope cleat will be mounted, through the first double pulley, then the second double pulley, then loop it again all the way to the ground and back up again anchoring the rope behind the track. The first end of your rope should lie on the inside pulley of each of the double pulleys. Run the second end of your rope from the location of the rope cleat through the first double pulley, then the second double pulley, then to the single pulley down to the floor and back up again, anchoring the rope behind the track. Note here that the second end of the rope is run on the outside of the double pulley. Once the rope is anchored behind the track, re-secure the tracks to the overhead structure, being careful that you're not drilling through the rope as it will weaken the rope and can lead to tears. If your curtain is hand rolled and not using the rope and pulley system, you will need to install Velcro straps. Slide your Velcro strap with the hook and loop side facing the wall down behind the track and leave approximately 4 inches of the strap hanging over the top. Make sure that the straps are 15 inches from the edge of the track on each side. Secure the Velcro through the track using the appropriate screws. Then re-secure the track to the structure.
You can also use a silicone spray to lubricate the track prior to installing the curtain to help it slide a little easier. Make sure you have the correct curtain for the opening and slide the curtain into the track with the straps on the inside of the structure. You may need to loosen the track a bit to fit the curtain into a tight corner. Resecure the track if necessary after inserting the curtain. Use one of the self-tapping screws that are provided to secure the curtain into place. Insert the bottom bar into the bottom pocket. You'll want to first make sure that you duct tape both ends so that the sharp edges don't cut through the vinyl. Continue installing the rest of the curtains all the way around your structure. Install your weather flap tracks at the predetermined locations through the pre-drilled holes using the screws provided. You may reference your curtain template if you have any questions. Slide your weather flaps into the track from the bottom to the top. Loosen the track if necessary, then re-secure the track once the weather flap is in place. Zip all of the curtains together, from the top to the bottom, making a mark on the floor where the D-rings will be mounted, directly underneath the web strapping of each curtain. Pre-drill the holes in your structure if necessary. In concrete, use the slip anchors to attach the D-rings to your floor. If you have a wood deck or other structure, use the appropriate screws. With the curtains fully down and secured, loop the excess rope around the rope cleat. Pull out about one extra foot of rope and tie it off. Trim the excess and singe the ends of the rope with the lighter to keep them from fraying. That's it. Thanks again for choosing Southern Patio Enclosures. If you have any questions, please give us a call.